Amazon Basics and Zinus, two very affordable options that can give you very, very good values. But which one's gonna be right for you? That's exactly what I'm gonna be telling you about today. My name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about these mattresses, what the main similarities and differences are, run through the construction of both mattresses, and letting you know who should get one or the other, so stay tuned. Let's get started by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. I'm gonna talk about Zinus in general and Amazon Basics in general. Amazon Basics has a couple different options with an eight, a 10 inch, and 12 inch version. They also have a cooling gel uh, memory foam mattress available as well. I reviewed the 12 inch, just Amazon Basics uh, memory foam mattress. The Zinus, I reviewed specifically the 12 inch cooling gel memory foam mattress. So I'm gonna talk more specifically about those mattresses, but then talk about Zinus in general and Amazon Basics mattress in general as well. So as far as the ones that I've reviewed, they have very, very similar construction. And very similar feel as well. I actually put the firmness at about the exact same as well. Both could have four layers, very similar construction, two base layers, transition layer, and then a memory foam layer. Pretty similar feel in that they have sort of a kind of quick sandy classic memory foam feel as well. So there's a lot that's similar between these two mattresses I've reviewed. All right, we know about the similarities, but what are the differences? Number one is price. So I think Zinus is gonna be about 10% or so more expensive than the Amazon Basics. They also have more options available. So they have a bunch of different models in the memory foam category and in the hybrid category as well. Whereas the Amazon Basics has an eight inch, 10 inch and 12 inch, and then a gel memory foam option as well. Um, I would say that the quality of the Zinus is gonna be a little bit higher. I would say that the foams that they use are a little bit denser in my opinion, a little bit more supportive overall. That's just my opinion. Also the presentation is gonna be a little bit better. I think the cover is gonna be a lot better, for example, so I think it is a little bit of a step up in quality in my opinion. Let's talk about the construction of both mattresses and see what the differences are. Starting with the Zinus, we have about 12 inches in total. We have a very soft and thin cover and then memory foam over a transition layer over basically a base layer that's split into two. There's gonna be some air channels in there. So there's gonna be gel memory foam that'll help you kind of sleep a little bit cool. And then there's gonna be these air channels that allows kind of air to flow through, which helps with uh, the issue of sleeping hot. Moving on to the Amazon Basics now, you'll see that it's very, very similar. 12 inches in total, we have a very soft and thin cover, and then memory foam over transition layer over basically a base layer that's split into two as well. You'll see a little bit more pronounced air channels in there as well. All right, so what does all that mean? Pretty much the same exact construction with some slight differences. Uh, I would say the general feel is gonna be about the same. You got a memory foam feel, you're gonna sink into the mattress, but not too much. So the general feel is gonna be the same. Firmness is gonna be about the same. I'll talk about that just a little bit later in the video as well. But in my opinion, the differences are presentation. I think that the cover, just overall presentation of the Zinus is gonna be a little bit higher uh, in quality than the Amazon Basics. That's just from, from my experience and from my viewpoint. Also, I think the foams just feel a little bit denser, maybe a little bit more supportive overall, a little bit higher quality in the Zinus. That's just based on my experience and from what I can tell from the construction overall. So very, very similar overall, but I would say that there's a slight increase in quality with the Zinus. All right, let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the Amazon at about a six out of 10, and the Zinus also at a six out of 10, so right about the same. As far as the feel is concerned, very similar. Construction is just about the same as well. So we've got memory foam on top, so you're gonna get that kind of sinking in, kind of slow moving classic memory foam feel. So the firmness and the feel are about the exact same. I would just note again that the Zinus, I think that the foams feel just a little bit denser, a little bit more supportive overall. So that's the main difference in my opinion. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back, on the Zinus, I feel like it's a good fit for me there. Memory foam kind of kicks in, conforms well to the curves of my body. Pretty good match for me from a support perspective. Switching onto the Amazon Basics, uh, pretty good match for me there as well. I would say I'd probably prefer the Zinus for back sleeping overall, however. Switching onto my side, I feel like there's pretty good pressure relief on the Zinus. Uh, the memory foam kicks in again and relieves that pressure pretty well, so good match for me there. Also on the Amazon Basics, good match for me there, so I'd probably put it about a tie for side sleeping. Switching onto my stomach, now I would say on both mattresses on the Zinus it's a little bit too soft I probably want something a little bit firmer same on the Amazon basics I probably want something a little bit firmer a little bit more supportive so I probably wouldn't go with either if I slept on my stomach in Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing because it shows you exactly how well every mattress relieves pressure. I get down on a pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. Uh, what really matters is these side sleeping results. You'll see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. So if we throw up those results here, you'll see that it's about a tie. Uh, I found that the construction is about the same and the firmness is about the same. Got memory foam on top. So I felt like it was about the same as far as my personal experience from pressure relief. And this shows that that is the case. 
Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe. I want to give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Amazon Basics mattress and the Zinus mattress. Now in terms of firmness, I thought both mattresses were close to a 7 out of 10. It's firmer than Joe thought because I'm a larger person. I'm pressing further into these mattresses, feeling some more firmness than he did. But let's look at each mattress one by one in terms of sleep position. So starting over on the Amazon Basics on my back, not the best match for me, not supportive enough for me. I feel like I'm kind of dropping through the mattress. I definitely need more lumbar support in particular. Moving to my side and putting some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. However, the foam's really not pressing up into my gap, so not the best match in that respect. Moving to my stomach though, definitely not supportive enough for me. I'm boning at the hips, I'm getting out of alignment. Now moving over to the Zinus on my back, not the best match either, but I do feel better support on the Zinus than I felt over on the Amazon Basics. Moving to my side though, Though, less pressure relief than I felt over on the Amazon Basics. Moving to my stomach, not support enough for me. I definitely need support more under my hips, definitely bowing into the mattress and getting out of alignment. So what does all that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, I look towards the Zinus. I think heavier side sleepers in general would prefer the Amazon Basics. Heavier stomach sleepers are probably gonna wanna look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. It's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, so that motion can be isolated or transfer over you and possibly wake you up at night. Edge support is basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off. As far as motion transfer is concerned, both have memory foam on top, very similar construction, so they both do a very good job at isolating motion, so I'd say it's about a tie there. And as far as edge support is concerned, it's about a tie there as well. I would say that they both don't have the best edge support. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these two mattresses is gonna be right for you? All right, as far as who should pick Zinus, they definitely have a lot more options. So if you want more options, you definitely have a better chance of getting the right pick for you if you go with Zinus. I would say heavier people probably wanna go with Zinus. I just found that the foam was a little bit denser, a little bit more supportive overall, probably better fit for heavier people. And if you just wanna step up in quality, that's definitely what the Zinus provides. So I just think presentation-wise, the cover's better. I think they use denser, more supportive foam. So it's definitely a, a step up in quality in my opinion. As far as who should pick Amazon Basics, I think if you're very lightweight, you may not need that extra support that Zinus provides and you can save some money that way. Also, if you're on a very, very tight budget, I would go with Amazon Basics. It is a little bit cheaper than the Zinus is. Also, if you have a kid, you want a mattress for your kid, or a teenager or something like that, I think the Amazon Basics can be a very good choice. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of the main similarities and differences between these two mattresses. And hopefully you have a pretty good idea of which one you want to get. If that's not the case, you're still a bit confused, I read and reply back to every single comment on YouTube, so just leave a comment below. I can even give you a personal recommendation. Just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of my top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. And once again, let me know if you have any questions.